God bless you again. Uh, this is Pastor Manti speaking on mentorship. I, I just want to share something that is going to empower us to live our optimum best in every circumstance. We are talking about mentorship, and I'm so excited for you to enjoy the program. Uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes for us to be able to know all the things there and be equipped with everything necessary for you to live out your best in every situation of life. Is that not wonderful? Today, I want to still continue in the vein that I left off the last time. Remember, I was talking about knowing your identity because it is the basis upon which that you have to determine what to do. If you don't know what to do, don't continue try to create a path for your own ambition, but begin to ask yourself this question, who are you? If you are living contrary to who you are, then you are you are leading yourself in the path of failure. You will get to a place where you, you can be successful though, but you will not be fulfilled. And so what we need to do is to find out who we are and then use that as the basis of our goals, our vision, so that we can be able to be fulfilled whilst we are achieving things in the kingdom. Now remember, the Bible says that there are many devices in the heart of man, but the counsel of the Lord that will stand. There are many devices. There are many strategy, counsel. There are many purposes. There are many things in the heart of man. Things that you feel like you want to do. But remember the purpose of God. The counsel of the that will stand. So therefore if we want to stand, then we need to align ourselves with the purpose of God for our life. Now if you don't align yourself with the purpose of God, then you are not guaranteed to stand. So what we need to do is to ask ourselves why are we here on earth? Why, what, what were we born to do? So if you want to know what you were born to do, then ask yourself that why did God create you? Because if you don't know that, then there's a tendency for you to allow somebody to give you a label that is not from God. I urge you to find some time to spend time before the Lord to ask him what he has for your life. I remember when I started my life as a young man, I, I, I thought I had such a strong desire to be a doctor. And I was that was my motivation, my drive. And I thought that was the purpose for my life. Not knowing God wanted to be a situation. God had to orchestrate circumstances and situation to awaken me. Now, being a doctor is so good, but that's not for me. That's not what God ordained for me. Although I was in pursuance to that occupation, but not, that is not what God wanted for me. If I had become a doctor, I could have been successful, but I would not be fulfilled. Today, I want you to understand that God is saying in his word, for you to be able to stand, ask yourself this question, is your life aligned to the purpose of God? For there are many devices in the heart of man, but the counsel of the Lord will stand. So therefore, if we want to stand, that we need to go before God and ask Him His counsel. What is He saying to you? What has He purpose for your life? What is His I mean, what is His assignment for your life? You are here on earth to fulfill a divine assignment, not to just satisfy your own ambition. You are here not to just accumulate material wealth alone, but to also fulfill a divine purpose for your life. And it's about time we awaken to search. Uh, assignment. Otherwise, we are going to go through this earth just wasting time because we are just trying to achieve things that is not in line with your purpose in life. I need us to understand that if we are going to be able to be successful in this mentorship program, let's all begin to write down what we believe God has said concerning us. And if we don't know, have any revelation, begin to fast and pray about it and ask God. And God will give you his revelation. The Bible says that God is the one that gives his wisdom, his counsel liberally. You go to him, you ask him in prayer, he will tell you. Even if you don't have that, go into God's way and find out his counsel concerning your life. And if you find out his counsel concerning your his advice, his, his, uh, his, his assignment, his, his purpose in his work concerning your life, you can rightly apply it in your life and believe God for it and also see it manifest in your life. But if you want the specific instruction for your destiny, that will come by revelation. And God will reveal it to you a dream, a vision, a prophetic word, a trance or something, a revelatory experience will give you the exactness of your purpose. And I believe that when you do that, then you have the basis upon which we can move forward.
to make manifest what he has ordained for us. But the Lord visited Jeremiah, and Jeremiah thought he was the son of a priest alone, and God spoke that you are a prophet. Before you were entered into your mother's room, I ordained you to be a prophet to the nation. Upon that basis, then God gives him a commandment to see. What do you see? See, your assignment is in line with your identity. Don't you try to do anything that is contrary to what God has purpose for you. If you can allow your assignment to match up with your destiny, then you are guaranteed to succeed in life. God bless you. This is Pastor Matthew speaking again on mentorship. God bless you. Bye-bye. God bless you for joining me today. I have such a special message for you today that has an eternal significance. It's going to determine what you are going to live for eternity. And before we do, I do that, can you just pray with me? Can we just share a word of prayer? so that we can condition ourselves to be able to hear what I have to say. Can we pray? Father, we thank you and we bless you that we are gathered at your feet. I pray that you shine your light even upon us and grant us illumination, understanding, so that we'll be able to grasp what you want to share with us today, my Lord. I take dominion authority and I bind it, blinding and binding spirit and I lose your people from every entanglement that they, by their own free will, they will be able to grasp, understand what I am about to share. Thank you, Lord, for doing this. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Now, what I wanted to share with you is this, that the Lord God Almighty is extending an eternal invitation for our generation, for people to come and live with him, even after they have lived their, their life here on earth. He has made a provision so that those who receive his son, Jesus Christ, as their Lord, as his, that their Lord is personal savior, they will be able to come and dwell with him. Today, I've come to let you understand that if you are not born again, if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, you are in danger. You are in danger of eternal damnation. After you have lived your life here on earth, the Bible declares that there is a time for judgment. And those who have not made that necessary decision in their lifetime will be damned forever, living in hell for eternity, away from the presence of the living God. But thank God that he has made an allocation, he has made a provision through the death of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He has paid the price. The reason why he did that because all humanity was under judgment. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But he has made a way for us. The Bible says there is no other name given among men that we should be saved. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, he has given us the opportunity that as we embrace him and we make him our Lord and Savior, he comes to dwell within us and he imparts his righteousness unto us. Today, I extend that invitation to you that you make a decision now. Make that decision to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And as he comes to dwell within you, you will also empower you so that you can live out your best, your end. You also break out the shackles of the enemy so that you can experience the deliverance power of Jesus. He is also going to empower you to be all that God has ordained for you here on earth. And after this life, to live with him for eternity. If you are ready to take that decision, can you pray with me right now? Just a simple prayer. Just follow me even as we pray. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. But right now, I've come to the understanding that you died for me. And you are the son of the living God. And I believe that even as I pray right now, come and dwell within my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I confess on my sin. I decide to live for you entirely. And right now, Jesus, I pray that be my Lord and my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer in Jesus' name. If you have done that, you are born again. The next thing you have to do is to find a Bible-believing church, a church that talks about Jesus, teaches you about the ways of the Lord, a church that will disciple you in the ways of the Lord. And as you have taken that decision to start this journey in Christianity, I want you to just send me an email at pastor at crusaders.base and I'll send you some resources and I'll try to send you things that is going to enrich you, empower you, equip you in the lifestyle of faith in Christianity. God bless you. Thank you for joining the family of God. This is Pastor Randolph Manti. God bless you. Bye-bye.